Hey guys, Natasha or Ethel Joe. So I was really fortunate to receive an ARC for all of the books in Team Player. That minds you, I got to read Rochelle Page, Adriana Locke, Charlie Rose, um, Emma Scott, Kate Stewart, Kennedy Ryan, Adriana Locke, I think I said her name, Mandy Beck, Sarah Nay, um, Megan Quinn, uh, LJ Shen, Kennedy Ryan. I mean, I can go on. Kate Stewart. So, yes, I'm fumbling because, again, the second year in a row, I read an anthology of multiple stories and I actually had to write notes. Not my forte. I'm not a writer. I'm a talker. If you don't know me, I talk. So, let me run down the stories. We go from we have hockey, we have a snowboarder, we have basketball, we have an MMA fighter, we have football, um, we have baseball, softball, well she's softball slash hockey, a cheerleader, um, a football coach. You kind of just kind of get the gist that this is a sports romance and if you like sports you guys need to read it. But what I love about this whole anthology is that you included a sport that usually people think an anthology is all going to be about, you know, football, basketball, um, baseball, and we actually have a snowboarder in this. Loved Charlie Rose's story. I want more of their story because it's just one of those things where I fell in love with um, Camden and then I fell in love with Molly. I'm reading my notes because um, Molly is kind of just calls it like she sees it on Camden. She pretty much just said, she goes, um, I'll drink it to you if you want to go out with me. And she beats him and then she nonchalantly walks out the door. She has more confidence and I liked it. And it was kind of funny to see she put him in his place. And some stuff happens and these two end up hooking up and they have this, this kind of like a one night stand of epic proportions and she leaves and Camden's kind of like what the hell happened you know I was kind of interested in her and some months go by and she's and Molly goes back to the town not thinking she'd ever run into him again but she needs to tell him something and their story kind of snowballs and it's one of those stories I I I really loved it and I and I would say the f-word if I could right now but I have little ears um and so I want to say, Charlie Rose, I love your writing style. I can't wait to finish Bad Habit because this story right here was great. It was five stars and more. It was, I loved it and I really wish you'd write more snowboarders because um, living here in Idaho, um, I feel like some sports don't get the attention. And then we have Ella Fox and Out of Formation. Out of Formation, I, I, I kind of, it's kind of like those sweet swooning where your ovaries exploded and this is well worth it because it's kind of, um, uh, Colin is, de is devoted and he is known, um, Elena for like their whole life. Like they have known each other forever. And it's, um, one of those stories where, you know, yeah, they're star cross lovers, but they didn't really know they're star cross lovers. And some stuff kind of happens at the university where Elena is a cheerleader. And it comes to find out that the football coach got fired because he was having an affair with a fellow student. And so some roles have changed. And as you read the story, you find out that um, Colin is now the Division One football quarterback at the university that she's a cheerleader at. And she only has a year left of school, and but she also owns a home, half of a home with Colin and some feelings and some combustion. I'll just leave it at that. And it's just one of those sweet swooning stories that you guys need to go read. And then we have Adriana Luck. Cross. I mean, anything Adriana writes, I'm going to tell you guys, go freaking buy it now because she knows how to write blue collared men. She knows how to write MMA. She knows how to write these women that are kick ass and are going to tell you stories. So now we have Cross and Callie, their second chance romance. They had a connection years ago. They fell apart. And now they're coming back together to work on the shit that they left behind. And I, I loved it. And here's a new read for me. I've never read Emma Scott. And One Good Man kind of takes us back into the 70s in an era that is different. And I liked it. It's about football, soccer really, over in Paris and how Janie was, you know, a photojournalist in a time where 
it was not safe to be a journalist and things could happen to you. And it, it was kind of fun to see how these two, and Adrian and, and Janie, kind of evolve in their story. And it's one, I love the old style feeling and it was, it was awesome. Kate Stewart, sweeping of the series, sweeping the series. So Ren and Erica kind of met Hap Chance um, during uh, preseason and he gave her a card trick, um, the Queen of Hearts and they kind of hit it off and these two kind of have this amazing relationship for about a year but then Erica feels like she knows he's always going to choose the baseball and so she leaves him kind of just he doesn't know that she's leaving him and so it's kind of sad for them because you kind of go through their story and I thought their story was probably one of the most I had some good ugly cries with this one and it's a good cries because it's one of those things that's like wow these kind of these two have gone through a lot to get to where they're at and now they have a second chance to kind of um, be better at their relationship and I just I loved this book hard now we have Kennedy Ryan in full court press and I love how Decker and Avery meet. Come on, any girl that has ever wondered what happens in a man's locker room, doesn't matter if it's basketball, NFL, hockey, you name it, there is some towels that probably could be dropping. And Decker's towel just happens to drop in front of her as he was trying to also ask her on a date. And Avery's trying to keep her herself more businesslike. She's trying to, she's an up and coming reporter in the sports world and it's hard to be a woman in kind of a man's role. And I like Avery's no holds bar. She's just going to call him like it is. 10 years later, he, Decker, is now retired from the NBA and he's going to help co-host Avery's new popular series. And these two kind of have this, um, not really toxic, but kind of this banter that turns into something more and they turn into a friendship that's just one of those that I really, I like Decker's character and it's because um, of a single dad stuff, just the way he, the way he's with Avery and his words he says. Now we have LJ Shen, um, The End Zone, and I'm a huge fan of LJ Shen. Um, I love her series. Um, I've done several vlogs on her, and I like this one because who doesn't want their best friend that's a famous quarterback, football player at the college university, to ask you to be his fake girlfriend? Come on. I mean, we would all want that, especially if he's hot as... Um, and that's, again, little ears. Um, I, I like this college romance because you see these two people that know that they probably should be together, but they're, she's afraid, he's afraid, and um, Sage and Jolly have this kind of a great story um, to tell, and I think it's one of those that it's, it's definitely in the end zone, and I really recommend it. Now we have a couple of my favorites. Mandy Beck, with this in Ben. Okay, Mandy, I love you, and I loved Stella. Um, Stella is... I love her and I get this I don't know why but she just kind of maybe she reminds me of um, some uh, softball pitchers that I know but Stella is a softball pitcher in college and she's kick-ass she's tall she's beautiful and she just kind of just holds herself so strong and in walks in Jason and Jason is in town it is old alma mater to give out a hockey award and he sees Stella in the training room. She's getting some therapy done on her shoulder because she is a softball player in college and it's demanding. And these two kind of have a connection and it kind of leads to a weekend of some amazing times together. Months later, Jason's back at the university to do some stuff and he's looking for Stella because he wouldn't mind having to see her again and he ends up finding out some information and he goes to find her and he wants to make the wrong that he did right again. But I liked how Stella stood her ground and she was gonna fight to the end to know this is not what it is. And you have to read the book, but Mandy, I loved it. Now we have Megan Quinn. Let's just say this story, the backup in the game, I think ovaries exploded everywhere in the first chapter. I mean, if they didn't, we got to talk ladies because this was amazing. How can you not fall in love with a guy called her who dresses like a fairy to takes his, his daughter on a daddy daughter date to, um, 
a donut tie place. I think I said that right. Because come on, that is like completely swoon weather. Single dads are amazing. I know I married one and it's kind of fun to see dads with their daughters and how sweet and swoon worthy they are with them. But I liked how Rachel and Calder kind of have like their text messages write a whole damn book on their text messages because that was hilarious that just it definitely is the highlight of the story and it's a great story and it's great how you know calder kind of grows through this as a single dad and what he needs to do for his little girl but then rachel's just you know she's amazing and she's strong and she's just she's a teacher but she kind of understands and i i love this then we have Rachel, Rochelle Page. Now, I love Rochelle Page. Like, if I was to scan over to my bookshelf, you see I have a lot of her books because I liked her other series of hockey. She can write hockey. But it's kind of cool because we have Ryan and, and Tamara. Ryan kind of puts his mouth where he shouldn't put it sometimes. His foot is definitely in there a lot. And what I enjoy about this is that Ryan kind of has to swallow his words when the new speed skate coach comes in to help them ends up being a woman who happens to be an olympian ends up being somebody that he had a one night stand with that she tamara left him and he's kind of just shocked and these two kind of have to build back but what is really kind of any man that can cook me dinner and tuck me into bed and put my groceries away yeah, he's at my top of my list and I will ask him to marry him. Sorry, honey. But it's just, it's fun story. It's, I like how these two interact and it's just, it's hockey and hockey and love. Come on guys, read it. Now we have a switch hitter. Now, if I had a twin sister, this is so what my twin sister and I would do. I don't have sisters. I have a lot of brothers. So if I had an identical twin sister with polar opposite personalities, we would do this. So Lucy is in a dilemma. She has a, she has two dates and she needs her twin sister Amelia to cover for her with her date with Dante. Dante, but she doesn't really tell Lucy doesn't really tell Amelia much. She's like, "Yeah, he's just kind of boring. He's a catcher. His name's Dash, but his name's Dante." You know, Lucy kind of plays it off. Amelia meets Dante and she just completely blown away by him. He is the essence of a baseball player he is he is Spanish and he just kind of has so much about him and Amelia sees herself falling for him but she's so afraid because he thinks it's Lucy but does he really Dante kind of knows there's something up with Lucy aka Amelia and he kind of keeps noticing like the dimple and and mannerisms and you know she speaks Spanish she's Spanish and he's like Lucy would never speak Spanish but who is this and these kind of two kind of go into this thing thinking that um he's thinking it's Lucy but it's really Amelia Amelia kind of has these feelings so it's great and I like how it ends up ending guys I'm not gonna tell you again team player is well worth it is on Kindle Unlimited if you guys have the subscription go get it. It is well worth the read. This is one of my longest reviews because literally it is some of the funnest stories I read this week. Um, it made me laugh when I needed to. It made me swoon when I needed to. And it's a genre of different sports. We have a snowboarder. Come on. You guys got to read Charlie Rose's snowboarder story. We have um, an MMA fighter. We have a hockey. We have some babies. And it's just it's um, it's great guys I'm gonna keep telling you over and over until you guys are bored with me it's on Kindle Unlimited go get the damn book talk to you later